assalamu alaikum to all of you so well, this is sir. yeah this is our, this is our uh, second class about teaching of literature so in the first class i i told you about uh, the course outline i told you about uh, the contents which we have to do or you have to do in this particular semester and i have told you the importance of your course that how important your course is and i hope you must have understood if you have any question regarding this you can ask me please now you can see it is this second uh, uh, lecture and sec second session and it is about what is literature since we have to study uh, uh, teaching of uh, literature for language uh, purposes and as i told you that this is a course which will teach you how to use literature for teaching english language so you must know about certain things for example you must know about language learning in pakistan in pakistani context you must know about uh, what literature is in a proper manner because different people have have different you know opinion about uh, literature so what is your opinion this is something i'll see here so what is literature before starting this one i would like you to give your views about literature so can you uh, give me your views about literature i'm just giving you Mirror. time yeah i'm just giving you time don't take it uh, you know don't do things in a hurry just take time think for a while write down with in, in your notebook and then tell me what literature is don't be in a hurry just take time write down with you and then tell me what literature is sir i think uh, literature is a picture of our society literature is a picture of our society uh, sir can i define it please okay one by one what do you mean by our society yes means whole society yeah whole society world. literature doesn't Yeah, literature doesn't represent any specific society. Right now, we are studying English literature, so that's why we will talk about English society, right? So it's not specific to any society. Whatever literature we study, so we will get about that society. Okay, very good. Second one, who is sharing her or his opinion? Sir, I want to emphasize. Sir, I want to emphasize the English literature. Can I please? Yes, please. sir according to my perception the way i think i think uh, english literature is a broad term used in many educational settings it refers to the body of work written or spoken isn't it it includes prose poetry and oral traditions it also involves the reading and analysis of different kinds including fiction and non fiction uh basically oh. the term literature is derived from the latin word litera l i t t e r a that means writing formed with the letters and uh, on the another hand i also think that uh, the concept is difficult to precisely define though many have tried it's clear that the accepted definition of literature is constantly changing and evolving i think by the time okay okay so you mean literature is like this very good okay yeah, writing from the literature uh, uh, sir we can say that literature is the uh, reflection of society in another sense we can say that literature in its broad sense is an any written work any written work that we have is a form of literature 
okay very good literature is, 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 is something that is in written form okay yeah written in other? spoken spoken can we say spoken also literature because yeah, so somehow we can so somehow we can consider it now we can consider to some extent it is literature but if it is recorded then it can be a part of literature otherwise if it is unrecorded if it's not recorded yeah. then how can you you know prove it written things are recorded written things are in proof for example we have books or aristotle we are still studying and yeah, what yeah. is aristotle you know what he has done he has done he did in written form and that's why we still have those things in our hand sir so i think literature no... also represents the tradition and culture of a language or a, a people so literature represents tradition culture and of course everything related to a society very good yeah. okay any other student who wants to express uh, his views about or her views sir, yes uh, sir this is ashok kumar uh, sir literature is uh, yeah. like uh, art fine art we can say the music dance etc sir. sir it means literature gives the reflection of society from various changes which which had comes in societies in a written form and symbolism and etc this is a literature sir Okay, means you mean that uh, music and all such things are also included in literature. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, okay. uh, sir, I have okay. a question. Yes. Sir, uh, someone says that literature is a written form. Sir, what about symbolism and uh, that were written in Victorian era? Sir, these were the also uh, uh, literature. Symbols are actually uh, some signs which indicate, which also play a role of communication. so in this way you can also include it in literature yeah thank you sir because everything communicates something every gesture every symbol every our action non verbal communication all they communicate something so that's why they are tools of communication but they cannot be preserved they cannot be saved they cannot they cannot be put in written form yes sir can i yes please sir symbolic words are the blank words as i some where i heard that the book was uh, written in blank words so are these symbolic words no no there is nothing like symbolic words symbolic symbols actually are certain signs which have uh, which refer to uh, which refer to something for example if we talk about white color so it symbolizes purity it also symbolizes in certain context so right so when we see white color so we, these two things come to our mind so it, this white color communicates us these two things similarly if we see red sign i'm just talking about color so what does red sign communicate to us it communicates to us danger it communicates coming uh, danger you know it also communicates to us blood blood and blood is not a good sign are you getting me so okay, yes, sir. yes sir. these are symbols and they have their meanings and they are used commonly in literature because literature is very wide there are many things which we have to make people understand through symbols for example uh, you know the symbol of dictator is what the symbol of dictatorship is what in the history of the world you will find certain uh, rulers they are symbol they are the symbols of dictatorship one of them is hitler hitler he is the symbol of dictatorship words form of dictatorship so this is how you will find many people they symbolize something places have uh, their importance they symbolize something even our actions gestures so they are a part of literature any other student who wants to participate wants uh, to give her his or her opinion regarding what literature is okay i am let's try it yes kindly if you have any opinion then you can share what man it's Yes. Does anybody have any 
uh, thing to say regarding this? You all are allowed to give your opinion one by one. I want your participation, please. Thirty-one students are right with me. Uh, Thirty students are uh, with me right now. <laughs> yes. What is literature? Okay. Now you can see here. I have, you know, collected few uh, comments uh, from the history. For example, literature is the mirror of the society. What does it mean? Someone said that literature is a mirror. Literature is a mirror of the society. So, what do you say about this? Sir, uh, sir, in mirror, we can it says that it shows the reflection of society. Various changes. And that's it, that's it. Yeah, mirror, mirror here means that when we read literature, we see what is happening in the society, right? Means it is something that reflects us. It is something that tell us what is what we are. For example, if we study or we are reading English literature, so we will come to know about. We will understand. We will learn what is happening or what was happening in English society. What kind of people are they? what kind of traditions they have what kind of uh, you can say history they have how what they were many years ago many centuries ago and how did they pass through those stages and how did they how have they got this status right now and many other things so it is something that is rare. if we study pakistani literature so definitely or urdu literature we will see the history or we will understand the history or society of pakistan so whatever literature we study we definitely learn about their almost every aspect of their life and society is definitely con society consists of all these aspects does anybody have to say anything else regarding this literature Yeah, is there anyone who wants to say anything regarding this particular uh, statement? So whenever we uh, definitely uh, select any kind of uh, any kind of work from literature for language purpose, we need to be very careful about our selection. For example, in our context, when you're teaching, I'm just giving you some uh, examples. If you're teaching it, uh, you know, because I have taught English language at different uh, well-known institutes of Karachi, uh, you know, for the last 20 years I've been in this field. So I've seen one thing that you must be very careful about the context, about the cultural aspects, about the traditions and many other things. There are many topics which are considered absolutely fine in English culture, but they are considered taboo in our culture. Do you know? Do you know what the, is the meaning? What is the meaning of taboo? Unacceptable. Yeah, taboo means it's things very, which are yeah taboo which are means not acceptable in our which, country. Yeah, or which are not era. very good. This is which are not acceptable morally. Remember, on moral grounds, which are unacceptable in our context. For example, if we have if i gave my students a topic related to valentine day do you think it is acceptable when no sir it's not acceptable in this society yeah in language class we are not bound to any boundaries we're not bound to any society miss in language class since we are learning a language or we are teaching students how to learn a language that's why we have to give them variety of topics we have to give them as many topics as possible and sometimes even teachers are <clears throat> short of topics. They are topics in our class. What are students watch? What are students watch? Okay, that's the kind of thing they do. My own experience and research is that they say, "Sir, today we have a topic. Tell us, sir, a topic. Tell us." But the topics, whatever they are, they are less. Because in a class, if you have 
पच्चीस से तीस स्टूडेंट्स हैं लैंग्वेज चालीस तीस से ज्यादा तो मेरे ख्याल लैंग्वेज की सेटिंग भी नहीं होती लैंग्वेज सेंटर में ना तो आप दो तीन टॉपिक्स वहाँ पे चला देंगे एक दिन में और उनको उनके पास जो कोर्स है वो कितने दिन के नाइन्टी डेज के तो आपको टॉपिक्स भी लेने पड़ेंगे फिर उन टॉपिक्स में भी यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल यू कैन एक्सप्लॉयड लिटरेचर आप लिटरेचर से उठा रहे हैं कुछ सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट यू नो द ट्रेडिशन अबाउट द कल्चर कल्चरल आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ थिंग्स नाउ द टॉपिक विच आई मैंशन दिस वन के आप उनको इफ यू गेव दम अ टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग हिजाब द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ हिजाब in our society so this will be a very good topic but if the same topic you give to someone else in europe or if the same topic you give to someone else in any other uh, country so what will happen they may you know raise their objections theek hai ho sakta hai ye topic wahan pe ho negative le liya jata ho so there are many things which are culturally unacceptable in our society and there are many things which are culturally unaccepted in their society so literal literature is something there is a mirror but when we when we use it in our language class so we have to be very very careful why because it is a mirror of society is this clear kisi ne literature ke bare mein ye kaha ki literature is defined as books and and other written works especially those considered to have creative or artistic merit or lasting value literature is defined as books and other written works especially those considered to have creative or artistic merit or lasting value what do you about say about this hurry up sir it means that literature is an art that reflects work of imagination creative writing with beauty with distinguished style or expression okay so literature is uh, is books and other written works remember books and all these things are written works especially which are creative or artistic merit and have lasting value means have great value which is still which we still have for example you know there are many great writers whose work we still study they are alive in the history they are alive in the history for example we still read shakespeare's plays we still read marlowe we still read you know alexander pope we still read uh, you know romantic writers like wordsworth writers to hi bahut sare honge लेकिन हम सबको थोड़ी पढ़ रहे हैं वी आर रीडिंग द वर्क्स ऑफ दोव इन दिस्ट्री सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आर्टिस्टिक मेरिट एंड दे हैड क्रिएटिव वर्क क्रिएटिव मीन्स दे डिड नॉट यू नो कॉपी दे मे बी दे दे आर ऑन ओरिजिनल आइडियाज बट दे मे माइट है प्रोड्यूस समथिंग न्यू सर आई है Yes, please. Sir, uh, written form से मराल ये के पर medical literature हो सकता है जो हम religious चीजें पढ़ते हैं वो भी literature का हिस्सा है. Yes, of course, medical जो है वो भी literature में आता है. That is called piece of information. Religious definitely it is also literature. Literature is a very wide term. Anything that gives us information is also literature. Anything that give gives us any written form of thing that gives us information is also literature. even you can use medical uh, what do we call literature for teaching purpose are you getting me it's your creativity when you teach <coughs> english language to any class so over there your creative efforts are also seen if you know these things you will become very creative creative means you will bring something new you will not kyunki language centers mein ya kahi bhi aap language padha rahe hain jaise aap ke yahan pe teachers ne padhaya hoga language तो उनको बाउंड नहीं किया उनको एक सिलेबस तो दे देते हैं लेकिन उनसे कहा जाता है कि अब आपने ये सिलेबस है आपके पास लेकिन हम आपकी अपनी क्या क्रिएटिविटी है आपकी अपनी क्या एक्सपर्टीज है वो भी इसमें जा, देखी जाएगी अगर आप चाहें तो थोड़ा इससे हटके ही पढ़ा लेकिन बच्चे मतलब असल टारगेट जो ये है कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स या तलबा जो है उनके अंदर बेहतरी आनी चाहिए ये हमारा असल टारगेट है आर यू गेटिंग मी 
इवन इन लैंग्वेज सेंटर्स कराची में तो माशा लैंग्वेज सेंटर्स की एक भरमार है ठीक है क्योंकि कराची इज़ अ मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटी पीपल फ्राम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री कम हेयर फॉर एजुकेशन फॉर जॉब पर्पज एंड इट हैज मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज सो वट हैपन्स दैट वी हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इंस्टीट्यूट तो वहाँ पे आपको सिलेबस तो देंगे लेकिन दे विल ऑल्सो आस्क यू टू टीच ऑन योर ऑन एज वेल तो अगर आपको ये चीज़ें मालूम होंगी तो फिर आप क्या करेंगे यू विल ब्रिंग समथिंग न्यू एंड दे विल अप्रिशिएट यू और इफ़ यू डोंट डू दिस थिंग देन क्या होगा कि स्टूडेंट्स लैंग्वेज सेंटर में तो ये बोलता है कि यार चलो आप फिर बाद में कर लेंगे अभी कोचिंग सेंटर ये तो का मामला तो है नहीं कि यार हमने हर सूरत में दो साल आप गुजारने होंगे क्योंकि हमारा इंटर चल रहा है ठीक है या स्कूल तो है नहीं या कॉलेज तो है नहीं दिस इज लैंग्वेज सेंटर स्टूडेंट तो आज मजा आने वाले चलो यार दो महीने बाद सीख लूँगा चलो यार रमज़ान आ रही है तो रमज़ान के बाद सीख लूँगा चलो यार ईद के बाद कर लेंगे आपने उनका इंटरेस्ट रिटेन करना है कैसे करेंगे वेन यू गिव दम इमीजिएट यू नो रिजल्ट वेन दे गेट इमीजिएट रिजल्ट लैंग्वेज क्लास ऐसी क्लास है जिसमें आपको इमीजिएट रिजल्ट शो करना होता है मतलब एक क्लास में ग्रामर अगर पढ़ाएगी तो अगली क्लास में फ़ौरन से उनको कन्वर्सेशन करवानी है कन्वर्सेशन कैसे करवाएंगे वेन दे हैव समथिंग वेन यू हैव सम क्रिएटिव यू नो स्किल्स क्या आप उनको बुलवाएं दिस इज कॉल्ड इमीजिएट रिजल्ट तो अगर उनको इमीजिएट रिजल्ट नहीं मिलता देखिए इंटर का रिजल्ट जो आप कोचिंग सेंटर में पढ़ा रहे हैं पूरे साल बाद आएगा उसकी रिजल्ट की कोई इतनी जल्दी नहीं है स्कूल में भी ऐसा ही होता है कॉलेज में भी इवन यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल पर भी बट वेन यू आर टीचिंग इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्योरली राइट देन यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस इमीजिएट रिजल्ट इफ दे इज नो रिजल्ट स्टूडेंट बिल्डर ना वे सो लिटरेचर इज डिफाइन एज बुक्स एंड अदर रिटर्न वर्क स्पेशली दोस्त कंसिडर टू हैव क्रिएटिव और आर्टिस्टिक मेरिट और लास्टिंग वैल्यू इसी तरह से किसी ने कहा लिटरेचर इज फीलिंग्स एंड थाउट इन ब्लैक एंड वाइट What do you say about this? Literature is feelings and thoughts in black and white. Yes, black and white means in written form. Black and white means in written form. Sir. Yes. थिंग The, this statement shows that literature is something that has feelings and thoughts in written form. ये किसी ने ये statement define किया था literature को किसी तरह पर time कम है तो मैं चला रहा हूँ किसी ने कहा था कि literature is the use of language to evoke a personal response in the reader or listener. <coughs> literature is the use of language to evoke a personal response. कि कोई बंदा personal response को evoke करता है reader और listener यानी जो पढ़ रहा है उसमें भी और जो सुन रहा है उसको भी This is the statement which is uh, this is how someone has defined literature. इसी तरह से अगर आप देखें, so you will find that literature. Someone has said that literature means to meet a lot of people, to know other different points of view, ideas, thoughts, minds, to know ourselves better. This is what someone has defined literature. Yes. What do you say about this? Does anybody have anything to say? Sir, that's what I was saying. Now the concept is difficult to precisely define because a lot of people have defined it in their own way. But they have they they have defined in their own way. But that should be agreeable or not? This is what we have to see. is no one can define life what is life if you ask somebody for example just do a little research ek chhota sa research aap kar le you just talk to 10 people and ask them one question <coughs> what is life and then collect their answer and then <coughs> compare their answers and find out which one is the which one dominates then you will find very difficult to find one similar answers same is with literature jab hum life ko define karte hain kyunki har ek लाइफ को अपने तरीके से डिफाइन कर रहा है तो यहाँ भी लिटरेचर को हर एक अपने तरीके से डिफाइन कर रहा है तो डेफिनेटली यू विल नॉट फाइंड यूनिटी 
and this is the beauty of literature because literature is life life is not literature kisi ne kya kaha hai ki literature is a world of fantasy horror feelings vision which are put into words literature is a world of fantasy fantasy means imagination horror feelings visions which are put into word jo ke alfazon ki shakal mein hamare samne hoti hai so how do you say see this one hurry up do you agree disagree Sir, disagree. Disagree. Why? Okay. If you disagree, so why do you disagree? Yeah, you have to give reasons. Hurry up! Give me reason in one sentence or two sentences. <clears throat> We are running out of time quickly. I'll have to mark attendance as well. चलें एक काम करता हूँ मैं आप लोग की जब तक attendance mark करता हूँ आप लोग kindly इसको इस पे थोड़ा सा सोचें. वो If you agree, so why you agree, and if you disagree, so why you disagree? I'm just marking the attendance. Just the name, Dunga. So, I will yes say. Tenth uh, batch, section A. Abdul Kadir. Present, sir. You were absent in the first session. Abdul Sattar. Present, sir. Amin Kosar, Aliya, Amir Khan, Anida Sattar, Aksa Nas, Arif. Present, sir. अशोक कुमार अतिकाशा दिलशाद बजी किरण फाइक अली फातमा हाजरा हनीफ रजाक प्रेजेंट सर हनीफा इकरा स्महान ताज जवेरिया लक्ष्मण दास मदिया अली सर लक्ष्मण लक्ष्मण प्रेजेंट ओके मदिया अली प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट सर मानूर मानूर इसाक प्रेजेंट सर मानूर इसाक ओके मंसूर अख्तर यस सर मोहम्मद अमास सादिया फजल खालिद सादिया प्रेजेंट फजल खालिद प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट अलीना खान प्रेजेंट बिलाल फातिमा प्रेजेंट सर फातिमा मोहम्मद ओके देन वी फातिमा बिलाल प्रेजेंट राइट कायनात बीवी मानूर याकूब मलाइका मानूर बिलाल प्रेजेंट सर मलाइका राइट मंसूर बिला यस सर मंसूर मंसूर बिला अबासी मेवो तिकम मेवो तिकम मोमना मोहम्मद अकरम नाउ द अटेंडेंस ऑफ बी सेक्शन राइट मेरी शिजात मोहम्मद हसन मेरी शिजात मोहम्मद हसन ओके मोहम्मद शाबान मोहम्मद शाबान मोहम्मद उसामा नादिया रमजान नमरा रज नमरा नादिया प्रेजेंट नारायण प्रताप राज मोहम्मद दाशारी राजा तनवीर विदाय जैनब रिमशा सर रिमशा नाज सदा फफीज सना present sir present sir shahid ali sir sana present raja sana is present sada sada is present shahid ali shanawas sobia present sir sauda present sir sayed mubashshir ali shah sayed mubashshir shah absent taskin mohammad ubaidullah kumama uruj huzair tuzma bibi present 
تو ظاہر زیب الحق نعیما سارا اوکے ناز فاطمہ پورت الین پریزنٹ سر ناز فاطمہ یس سر پورت الین پریزنٹ اوکے ناز فاطمہ اور پورت الین پریزنٹ بہت شبانہ شبانہ خان شکیلہ ارشد شمائلہ ارشد توفیق احمد Okay, so this is how I have marked both of you. Okay, now if you have any question, you can say, so what is literature we have defined from different point of view. And finally, we have uh, this one. Great literature is simply language charged with meaning to the, to the utmost possible degree. Great literature is simply language charged with meaning to the utmost possible degree. پھر کسی نے کہا تھا لٹریچر کوڈ بی سیڈ ٹو بی اے سورٹ آف ڈسپلن ٹیکنیک فار اراؤزنگ سرٹن ایموشنس لٹریچر کوڈ بی سیڈ ٹو بی اے سورٹ آف ڈسپلن ٹیکنیک فار اراؤزنگ سرٹن ایموشنس دس از سم تھنگ سم ون ہیز سیڈ سو ڈفرنٹ پیپل ہیو ڈفرنٹ سیڈ ڈفرنٹ اینڈ ڈفرنٹ دیز آر دی اسٹیٹمنٹس آف لٹریری فگرز ریمبر جو اس اس سے جڑے ہوئے ہیں یعنی کہ جو جن جن نے لٹریچر جو رائٹرز ہیں ان کے یہ اسٹیٹمنٹس ہیں سو دی لاسٹ ون از There were many other statements, but I have brought only these one because they were short. So literature is something that is difficult to de define, but majority definitely say that yeah. anything, anything Excuse that, me, sir. Yes, yes. There was a statement that literature is a world of fantasy, horror, feelings, potent towards. I exactly do not get that statement. I mean, uh, would you like to define that, please? So I defined that time. Where were you? No, when did you? I didn't hear your voice. I said that literature is a world of fantasy. Fantasy means imagination, horror, feeling, visions, which are put into words. Means you show imagination, horror, feelings, visions, and many other such things in the form of words. This is what literature. For example, when you read novels, when you read, you know, there are different types of novels. In, in novels, you'll find horror novel, novels, emotional novels, you'll, novels you'll find, you know, simple novels. poetry drama they all are the forms of different types of you know uh, horrors fantasy feelings emotions and they all are put into words they all are put they all have been put into words and then we read or they are stage ya to unko hum padhte hain ya to fir kya hota hai ki hum unko stage par perform hote hue dekhte hain so this is what is what literature is according to this statement So in our language class, we can use all such things. Now, as much as you have creativity, so much as you have it, you can read it. When you, read, when you, uh, you must have read some books, and you must have seen over there, full of literature. English, what we read in it, what is literature? We have a lot of literature. We are making exercises, we are making vocabulary exercises, we are making grammar exercises. We are making reading comprehension exercises, listening. اسکلس کی بھی ایکسرسائز اس سے ہم کروا رہے ہوتے ہیں ایون وی یو نو ٹیچ سو مینی ادر تھنگس ود دا ہیلپ آف لٹریچر نا ہاؤ ٹو ایکسپلائڈ لٹریچر دس از سم تھنگ یو مت اینڈ وٹ ٹائپ آف لٹریچر وی ہیو ٹو یوز دس از اگین ویری امپورٹنٹ کچھ کانٹیکس ایسے ہوتے ہیں جہاں پر آپ جو ہے کچھ اسکپ ٹاپکس کو آپ کو اسکپ کرنا ہوتا ہے ایون ان کراچی دیر آر سرٹن ایریاز ویئر یو ہیو ٹو بی ویری کیئرفل اباؤٹ یور سلیکشن آف ٹاپکس یور سلیکشن آف لٹریچر آر یو گیٹنگ می So it is a world of fantasy, horror, feelings, vision, which are put into words, and we need words. Yes, any question? Kisi ko is sawale se koi sawal? No, sir. Good luck. ठीक है तो अब kindly ये जो चीजें आपको बताई गई इंशाल्लाह आज रात में इनको upload कर दूँगा तीन lectures हमारे पहले के थे और ये भी वो वो जो थे वो सब्जेक्ट पोइट्री के हवाले से थे और मैंने आपको कालिबन बताया भी थे कि आप बुक्स खरीद लीजिएगा और जो उनके एंड जो नोट्स वगैरह होंगे वो मैं कोशिश करूँगा चंद एक दिन में आप लोगों को सेंड कर दूँ सेकेंडली हेयर देर आर सम पेपर्स विच यू नीड टू गेट तो एक मैं आपको भेजूँगा इनमें एक पेपर रिसर्च कर मेरा अपना भी वो भी आप पढ़ लीजिएगा बिकॉज इट इज़ रिलेटेड टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन राइट सो दीज आर द पेपर एंड देर आर सम बुक्स विच आई विल 
मैंशन और कोशिश करूँगा उनकी पी डी एफ कॉपी मिल जाए तो मैं आप लोगों को सेंड कर दूंगा ठीक है लेकिन यह आपको बता दूंगा यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट थिंग्स ऑन योर ऑन फ्राम इंटरनेट सो दिस इज हाउ यू यू विल हैव मटीरियल यस सर ये जो पोइट्री आप पढ़ा रहे हैं ना इसके ग्रुप सर काइंडली अलग कर दें फिर अगर आप मतलब दोनों कोर्सेज के अगर वीडियोस को एक ही ग्रुप में सेंड करोगे तो मर्ज हो जाएंगे हमारे लिए प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा सर भाई देखें पोइट्री जो आपको पढ़ा रहा हूँ वही उनको भी पढ़ा रहा हूँ दोनों का एक एक ही कोर्स है ठीक है और मैं ग्रुप में पोइट्री ग्रुप में कुछ नहीं भेजूंगा मैं जो आपका यूट्यूब चैनल बना हुआ है ना वहाँ पर सब जाएगा ठीक है तो इसमें कोई मर्ज नहीं होगा वहाँ पर जाएगा आप वहाँ चेक कर लीजिएगा ये आज रात में अपलोड कर दूंगा तो जब अपलोड कर दूंगा उसका लिंक भेज दूंगा मैं ठीक है तो आप वैसे भी जाके देख लेंगे तो आपको मिल जाएगा और लिंक भेजूंगा तो वहाँ से डायरेक्ट आप क्लिक करेंगे तो आप वहाँ पहुँच जाएंगे तो इससे ये कुछ नहीं है कि यार कि दूसरे ग्रुप पर हम मर जाएंगे या गड़बड़ हो जाएगा ऐसा कुछ नहीं है <coughs> जब मैं अपलोड कर दूँगा उसका लिंक भेज दूँगा तो आप लिंक के थ्रू यहाँ पर क्लिक करेंगे वहाँ पहुँच जाएंगे और इसके अलावा वैसे भी आप वहाँ जा सकते हैं यू हैव एक्सेस टू the youtube channel of uh, english department yes any question regarding this topic yes the, regarding this class no so after 5 minutes inshallah then we will meet uh, for the uh, third session and that is about uh, you know english language in pakistan that is about english in pakistan right so we'll talk about english in uh, and we'll talk about sorry importance of english in pakistani context and in uh, south asian context inshallah right <coughs> with a research paper so see you after 5 minutes